Hello all. Casper 2 is the one we're doing today. Um, make sure you go to pattern-collections.com. Right here in the bottom there. Pattern-collections.com. That's where you're going to find all the patterns. This one's called Casper 2. Um, have I got really close? Yes. So it shows it on a pencil dot grid. You can do that if you want your pattern to be um, symmetrical and uniform. I don't, I don't bother, but if you want to, you can make yourself a little dot grid in pencil and then you will go with an arch and then you'll skip two dots and then you'll go an arch and you'll skip and so forth. Okay. Basically you want an arch here and an arch there alternating. Next path, next thing you're going to want to do is inside this arch, you're going to come down and down. I like to start at the bottom of this one, or work my way upward. So wherever my bottom ends up and then I connect to this one and then I connect to this one, you know what I mean? Then I would connect to here and to here. You'll see when I start drawing. So then the next thing, yeah, you'll come up here to the next row and you can just keep building. And then at the end, you can put this little dark bit right there. So it looks like the, these things are coming through a funnel like thing. And there's the sample with a little bit of shading. This one was shaded in red pencil. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet, but I'm just going to figure it out as I go. I like it to be a little more organic, so that's where I like to be. And I've chosen a lovely lime green because I just felt like it. I think I'm going to, with my pencil, instead of doing the dot grid, which I could do, I could do the dot grid, but rather than that, I think I'm going to just figure out where do I want my, um, my little arches. And I think I like, I like on the sample how there's a kind of a spot that's not done. And I'm going to give myself a little bit of a border just to kind of stop myself from going too close to the edge because I don't like to draw next to the edge, but you can if you want. Just my own personal pen preference. So I think I'm going to do one here and one here. And then I'm going to go in between those here and here. And then in between these here and here. You see I'm just kind of guessing as to where I want these little arch bits. I don't know, do I want do I want that there? I don't know. That's why I'm doing it in pencil first. No, that's too far down. I want to do something with the ends of these to be different. So that one could go. <clears throat> okay. Kind of like that. Okay, they're too they're too far apart. So I am going to 
Now you probably, I don't know if you can even see what I was, what I was playing with. I like the idea that I just am working on, but I think I need them closer together. I like the length of this, so I'm going to make these arches a little closer to each other this way. So one in here, one in here, one in here, and then one in here, one in here, one in there, here, and here, and here. A little bit closer together. And maybe one there, like that. Okay, so now I've gotten myself a general idea of where I want to put those little arch guys. I'm just playing. So, which pen do I want to use today? This one. Actually, I think I want my arches a different size than I want my drawing. Let me get my bigger pen. I'm just going to go for a nice big bold arch because I think I want a, a more dramatic shadowing. So I'm going to do a nice bold arch. So they're basically in rows, alternating so that there's a, this one is over the gap of the one below. Something like that. Okay, and I'm, I'm staying way far away from the bottom because I wanted to make sort of a tentacle-like thing for my shape rather than this one is a is a very uniform, oops, kind of an arch shape. Can you see this? This kind of ends up making a kind of a roundy arch shape. So you can imagine that this one would then go this way if you were to finish off these bottoms. But I want them to be a little more organic. So now I'm going to take my smaller pen and I'm going to start from the bottom. You know, I'm standing over here. So I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up this shape. And I want these to kind of go really organic, like that. I'm thinking about the term underwater, which is our inspiration prompt. These feel very, especially if I turn it that way when I'm done. And they're all going to be slightly different. Okay, so now I want this one to come down and it needs to connect to here. But then it can go behind and come out. Sort of organically. Okay. So normally it would be just like that and like that. 
right? So they would be like this and like this and like this and this. Like that. This one has to go down here. And then this would go in here. Yeah, like this. So this this is the the way the pattern normally would be. See it? But I want this organicness. So I want it to come. More like that. And then this one, you can see it kind of. Like so. So I'm just changing the bottom end of these shapes. See? I'm just giving them a little something else. Okay, I think that looks cool. And now I want to do more of, I actually want to get my fat pen again. I really want these to be super bold. I thought that, that having the the thicker pen to start with would be enough, but I don't think it is. So I really am going to emphasize this by making it even thicker. And then fill this in right here. Okay. Oh, those are fun. And then when I'm done with this, I'm going to come back in, erase all of my pencil marks, and then do some shading. I feel like I want to go into my little book and answer a question. What do you think? This is this little book called If Questions for the Game of Life. You can't see it because of the glare, but let's see. Uh, where were we? We were right. right. If you could alter one physical characteristic of your mate, 
What would you change? Well, I like the way he looks. I would probably um, give him back his hair. He had lots of it when I when we first started dating. And now, 35 years later, most of it's gone. So I would give him back his hair. I think he would want that. I'll have to ask him. But I think that's, that's the, the one thing that challenges him the most about his appearance. Um, next one is another dine alone question. If you could dine alone with anyone from any period in history, which person would it, would it be? <clears throat> any period in history. Well, I do believe my answer would be Jesus. And it would be unlikely that I would be dining alone. Very rarely did Jesus be anywhere without his disciples. But you never know. Those are just the stories we have in the Bible. That's not every day of his life. He, he lived for about 33 years, which is what scholars say. I'm not a Bible scholar, so I just assume that that's correct, that they've, they've done their research. I, I believe them. So in his 33 years, I'm sure there were there were days where he dined with just one person rather than a group. So, yeah. Dinner with Jesus would have been fun. I suspect people keep imagining Jesus as this... I don't know what they imagine him as. But, you know what? I suspect Jesus was a hoot to be around. He hung out with the people that... Uh, were the outcasts of the world. Um, I imagine that he was an extrovert. I imagine that he was very smart. And I imagine that he, he enjoyed life. And, um, and he was very he was your friend deep you know he was one of those guys i i imagine him being very much like like my pastor karen who passed away um i always thought she was very jesus like what i imagined jesus to be and that was full of life full of smiles, full of happiness, full of the joy of, of living and, um, a true joy. You know, once you've, you met her and you became friends with her, you were friends for life. And, um, she just had this radiance about her That was like no, no nobody I've ever met before or since, and I really imagine Jesus to be like that. I believe that she was sent to our congregation so that we could um, we could care for her during her last days, and that she could show us the love of Jesus and how to be with other people. And I'm sorry I've gone uh, religious on you. I try really hard not to do that too often, but, you know, it's part of my being. And, you know, it is who I am. 
so occasionally I go there. If you don't like it, I understand, but please don't leave hate messages in the comments. I, you don't like it, just move on, turn off the sound, just watch me. Watch me and don't listen to me, that's fine. Now, question is, do I want it to live that way? Or do I want it to live this way? I really feel like it. the, th the things are growing upward that way. So I think I'm going to leave it going this direction. I really kind of like that. And I also think I want to create a border going like this. like that. Why? I don't know. Just felt like it. And it's crooked. Fine with me. This was called Casper 2. And now we can do a little bit of a shitting. What happened to my... Why did my phone do that? My phone not only turned itself off, but it lost the page I was on. Hmm. Okay. I forgot to tell you that Mimi Mimi also has a video on this vid on this pattern, so you can check her out. Um, let's do a little shading. There's my blending stump, my pencil. I'm gonna go with the darker one. Just going to overlap, do shading where it overlaps. See how that overlaps there and it overlaps here. And then it goes into this hole there. That's where I'm going to put my shading. Alright, so another question. If you could, in retrospect, change one thing about your childhood, what would it be? Oh my word. Don't get me started with childhood. I don't know. I mean, that, that, there's a lot. There's too much. That's why I'm saying I don't know. Uh, to narrow it down to one thing? Me. Mm. I, I, would be nice if, if life was a little easier for my mom. Those struggles made it hard for all of us. And, yeah, there, there became a time later in our, our lives where life became much better for her. And when life became better for her, it became better for all of us. Um, so I think that would be what I would change, is, is life for my mom. We had some hard years. We did. And... I have such admiration and respect for the way mom lived her life and the way she managed to raise myself and my sister um, through all the difficulties that went on that um, 
yeah, she's a strong, strong woman that I don't know how she got through some of the stuff that went on. I don't want to be too, too detailed and I don't want to be too maudlin, but some of it was really tough to go through. And, uh, I wish we didn't have had to go through all that, but maybe sometimes also I think, you know, we wouldn't be the people that we are if we didn't struggle. So, you know, would have been nice to not have to struggle like that. But I think I'm a person who can now um, relate to those who struggle because I've struggled. So I don't know, maybe we have to struggle and maybe our struggles are all different because we are all needed in different capacities to help others. But I think if you don't use your struggles to help someone else, then that's, that's, that's a sad thing. You know, if you can't see that even though you struggled, um, that you can then turn around and, and you can use your, your knowledge of that struggle and how to come out the other side to, um, help someone else. If you don't do that, then that's, that's the sad thing. When people don't take what they've learned and, and share it and help someone else through a difficult time. That's cool. I'm happy with that. I think I want to make some highlights, but I don't think I want to do them in white. I think I have, do I have one of those gel pen things in green? I do not. I have blue, I have white. I thought I had a green. But apparently I do not have pink, I have purple, I have yellow. I wonder what yellow will do. Let me see if it writes first off on a scrap piece of paper. And then if it does, see what it looks like on the green. Okay, it's starting to flow slowly. Okay, let me see what it looks like on the green. If it's not enough, Oh, I think that's probably just right. Yeah, that's good. All right. So let's zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to put some highlights in yellow. So they'll be a little bit less dramatic than when I do them in white. But I think that's what I want. So yeah, I think it's really important that you take what you've learned in life. Yeah, maybe that's not bright enough. I'm going to go ahead and do the yellow and then maybe I'll come back with the white. Um, but yeah, take what you've learned in life and then share it with others. That That's important. Yeah, I don't think the yellow is quite quite doing it for me. I think I want a little bit more pop. But I'm going to go ahead and make sure that there's yellow on all of them. Because once you've started with something, um, you know, one little blob of something is a mistake. A lot of blobs of something is an on purpose. So I'm going to go ahead and add the yellow to every one of these little shapes. And I'll come back with the white and really make them stand out. Make sure I don't touch the paper with my hand because this stuff takes a while to dry and I could smear it. I don't want to smear. No smearing. Be 
but I don't think this is quite showing up enough. Does that make sense? I may have to I'm just gonna let it dry and I don't know if I want to use my gel pen if I want to just use some pencil. But I'm gonna let that dry for just a second. And let's see, let's do one more one more question. If you could have any room in the world become your bedroom from now on, which room would you choose? Hmm. Wow. I don't know. I like my bedroom. I think I would choose a suite on a cruise ship. Did you guys expect that answer? I expected that answer. Yep. Sweet on a cruise ship. That would be where I would choose. How's that? Is that better? Not really. For some reason, this particular colored pencil isn't drawing very well on this paper. That's interesting to know. It's just barely... I don't know if it's the texture of the paper. This is a different kind of cardstock. It doesn't have very much tooth. I know you need tooth for your colored pencil to kind of really grip to and to pull the pigment off of the pencil. This feels really strange. It feels almost slippery. And it's not really taking pe much pencil off. Do you see that? It's not. So I'm going to go ahead and Make sure I've got a little bit of this on each one. And once again, once you've started, you got to finish at least a little bit so that they all have a similar vibe. Yeah, that didn't work the way I had anticipated. So let's go for the white. Give it a little, a little pop of something. It's amazing what the white will do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would say a suite. The big owner's suite on a cruise ship that would be where I'd want to be although there's there's one where I wouldn't want um, on the carnival imagination or inspiration one of them uh, my brother and sister-in-law got upgraded to the penthouse which sounds amazing. And the room itself, the, the, the size of the room was humongous. It was a beautiful room. Um, problem was, it was really noisy because of its location. It overlooked the Lido deck. So you could look out the, the master bedroom window this big huge curved window and and watch all the activities at the pool it was beautiful it was a great view but you could hear all the noise from the pool all the the music and everything and then over in the living room area the door was near the atrium and you could hear all the the music and the musicians in the atrium bar area and you could hear them all at the same time. So it was a cacophony, a sound that to me was not relaxing. They enjoyed it. They don't have problems with sound like I do. I'm quite sensitive. And so um, they had a great time. I, I wouldn't have really wanted that room actually. 
But a nice quiet suite would be nice. The one that's up front, kind of like over the, the bridge where your balcony is the the big wing that sticks out over the bridge. There's one on one of the ships that's like that. That would be a great room. I'd take that one. Anyway, enough about me and my cruising experience. <laughs> there you go. That's much better with the white highlights. Much, much better. A little bit more right here. And, um, yeah. I will see you guys on the next video. We're going to do Cosmic Flower next. And um, you guys have a great day. And I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye.